Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you our Python MySQL connectivity program on student management. Here is my coding and I will explain about this later. Firstly, let's run our program. As you can see, they are giving two options. Sign up and login. You have to enter 1 and 2 for sign up and login respectively. Here I am going to enter 2 because I have already an account and I will go for login. It's my username and password. Login successful. Now it will display the content of the program. As you can see they are given 6 options. Press 1 for add student detail. Press 2 for show all student record, press 3 for delete student record, press 4 for update, press 5 to search and final option press 6 to exit. Suppose if I want to add a student record in our data then I have to enter here 1 and now you have to fill the student's detail, enter student id, student name, father's name, gender, Data word contact number address stream additional subject. Now it will ask do you want to add more? Yes or no. If you enter here why then it will repeat the same. But I am here going to enter N for no. Now to show all student record we have to enter here too. It will display our content in a table format. As you can see there is a student name Yash which we have added. Now press 3 for delete student record. Now it will give you two options. Press 1 to delete student record by using student id and option second press 2 to delete a student record by using student name if i want to delete a student by his name i will enter here to enter this student name to be deleted one record deleted successfully now let's see if the record is deleted or not press 2 as you can see then Student naming Yash has been deleted from our record. Now press 4 to update a student record. Again it will display two options to update student record by student id or to update student record by student name. Here I am going to press 1. Enter the old student id. Enter new student id. One record updated successfully. Now let's see if the record has been updated or not. Press 2. You get here that it is here 1500 and 1700. So it has been changed from 1700 to 1500. Now press 5 to search. Again two options to search the student by name or to search the student by additional subjects. I am here going to enter 1. Enter student name. It will show you all the information regarding the student naming Ishika. Now let's try this option again. Press 5. Now I will enter here 2 to search student by additional subject. Enter the additional subject you want to be shown. Okay, here I will press right CS. Now it will display those in student which, we, which have CS as the additional subject. Now let's exit and press 6. Here you will get thank you. Now let's move towards our coding. So the first
first query is import OS. The OS module in Python provides function for interacting with the operating system. This module provides a portable way of using operating system dependent functionality. Okay. Second, import platform. Platform. This module provides system information. This is used to retrieve as much as possible information about the platform on which the program is being currently executed, like interpreter version, hardware, operating system, etc. Next, from PT table, import PT table. This is used to represent or to get our data in a table format as we have seen earlier. We are getting, we were getting data in a table format. Next, import mysql.connector. This is used to establish a connection between mysql and python. MyDB equal mysql.connector.connect host local host user root password 1235 database cs here i have used database cs because my table is under this database naming cs and the password of mysql is 12345 host local host user root cursor equal mydb.cursor cursor is used to execute a statement or to communicate with the MySQL database to establish a connect communication with the database of MySQL. Now, cursor.execute, create table if not exit, sign up, username, vacare, password, record, that query. And cursor.execute is used to execute the MySQL query. Now, here, I have inserted a while loop, while true. This coding is for that sign up and login which we have already seen now is my first function to add a student ch equal this it's blank while ch not equals to n l equal blank l equals to it's a blank double id equal int input enter the student id number same name F name, gender, DOB, contact, address, stream, additional sub, and that's enough. Here I have used l.append because it arranges our data in a one by one format. Now, here as you can see, it's a SQL query, it will work on SQL database or in SQL. Here's a SQL query insert into data ID dot name dot f name dot gender dot contact address stream additional serve and their values as this percentage as it's an sql query now cursor dot execute to execute this sql query now mydb dot commit commit is used is also used to execute that sql query or to Add or to commit that SQL and Python queries together. Now, our next function to show students def show SQL is select a select from table naming data because my table name is data. It's a SQL query cursor.execute again to execute that this SQL query. Press equal cursor dot fetch or fetch or to fetch the all data in that table naming data. T equal pretty table. Pretty table is used here to represent my data in a table format. It will show my data. It will show my data in a table format. And in my table, there are columns naming ID, name, F name, gender, DOB, contact, address, stream, and additional subject. Now here for ID, name, father's name, gender, DOB, contact, address, stream, additional sub in rest, T dot add row and this now print T. Print T here because we have taken pretty table in T. My next function of remove to remove student. As we have seen that there were two options to delete student by ID or name. 
print press 1 delete student record by student id print press 2 delete student record by student name ch equal int input for getting input from the user if ch equal equal 1 id equal in input and the student id to be deleted we have taken id in this r1 now here sql query delete from data where id equals to percent test because we have taken the values of id name father's name gender dob contact address team additional subject all s percent s now cursor.execute to execute this sql query mydb.commit print cursor.row count records deleted successfully okay now if ch, if ch equal equal 2 name equal input enter this to a name to be deleted delete from data where name equals to percent at is same as earlier here i have used this to describe this okay it's describing this percent name in bracket is describing this percent as again execution commit cursor.rocon recorded it successfully next function of updating student def update print update record by student id or name print press 1 update student record by student id print press 2 update student record by student name ch equal int input input your choice if ch equal equal 1 id 1 input enter the old student id this id 1 will contain the old student id and this id 2 will contain the new student id to be updated okay now sql query update data set id equal percent as where id equal percent as here i have described these percent as this and this percent as as id2 and id1 because i have to replace these because then again execution of sql query mydb.commit print cursor.row count records the better successfully if ch equal equal 2 then it will update the student record by using student name it's same as this my next function to search student def search cursor equal mydb.cursor print press 1 to search by name print press 2 to search by additional subject as we have seen you can add here more options also according to our will just you have to do some changes in this coding to add more options on the basis of this sr equal int input enter your choice this sr will contain the user choice if sr equal to 1 anim equal input enter the student name this anim will contain the student name this one is sql query now again it's execution data equal cursor dot fetch all to fetch the data according to the condition pretty table again to get the word data in a table format print t cause our pretty table in this t if sr equal equal to sa equal input enter additional subject csr hindi SQL query again this SQL query SQL query execution data equal cursor dot fetcher here the data you can use anything but remember whatever whatever you are using here must be same used here okay again t dot add row same now print t here is t it's formatting of my it's a formatting of my program as you can see why ch not equal to 6 it will print this now print press 1 for add student detail 
print press 2 for show all student record same which you have seen when when i run my program now you can see here here i have added some conditions if ch equal to 1 it will run the function of adding student lf ch equal to 2 it will run the function of to show a student if ch equal to 3 it will run the function of remove student if ch equal to 4 it will run the function of to update a student if ch equal to 5 it will run the function of to search a student and i have already explained these functions before else print thank you it was all about my program hope you guys understand it thank you